Hello, this is Phil Thomas from New Era Systems. I've been asked to go through some of the testing procedures that we use for modems. I've chosen a CDM570L from Comtech simply because we have several of them. But I believe these guidelines will work for other modems as well. Different menus, different options, but the principle is going to be the same. These modems have inbuilt testing procedures. And so we're going to go through a couple of them, starting off with a CW. What is a CW? Well, a CW is a clean carrier. In other words, it's a carrier that's not modulated by a signal. It has no signal on it. It's just, it's just a vehicle for carrying a signal. And it's particularly useful when we want to test the output of an amplifier. So we give it a clean input and then we're going to look at the frequency response and power output of that amplifier to make sure that it's accurate. The only two items that I'm going to use today are this CDM570 modem that you're looking at and this HP spectrum analyzer. The moment I've got the output of the modem connected to the analyzer, the modem is turned off, there's no signal on it, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay, we're looking at the opening screen of the CDM570L modem. And the first thing I'm going to do is to go over to test. These are the choices. Normal, IF, digital, loopback, IO loopback, RF, and TX, CW. Today I'm going to look at normal, IF loopback, and RF loopback, and explain what they're for and why we use them. First, normal. I'm going to go over to configuration, set up an output. Frequency is 1000 or 1 gigahertz in the IF band. Data is 2 meg. Check the power just for the heck of it. And the power is neg 20. Mm, okay, that's halfway in the attenuation range. It's okay. And now we're just going to turn on the modem and look at the output on the spectrum analyzer. Okay, you can see on the spectrum analyzer, typical modulated output, that's a two meg carrier. It's probably QPSK turbo, I didn't check that, it's not really relevant. But you can see a nice comfortable carrier now what we're going to do, we're going to switch over to the clean carrier. And as I mentioned earlier, the clean carrier is what we normally use to test amplifiers with. To get to the clean carrier, we have to go to the test menu. This is back to the opening menu, and you can see test. Currently it's set to normal, well you know that already. So now I'm going to go to TXCW. Okay, that's done. Now we're going back to look at the signal. Now don't forget I haven't changed anything other than taking off the modulated signal. So the, so the frequency is the same, but you'll be able to see a much narrower signal because it simply is, it's more of a beacon than anything else. There you are, you can see the output quite clearly. It's a typical CW or clean carrier. Okay, next step. We're going to go to an IF loopback. The purpose of the IF loopback is to test the internal transmit and receive from the modulator to the demodulator. It doesn't require any cabling. It's entirely internal. Opening menu, back to test. Now we're going to go to IF loopback. There it is. If you notice, TX traffic and RX traffic are both lit, so it's transmitting and it's receiving. What the loopback did, it set the parameters on the receive to match the parameters on the transmit. And so this way it's running an internal test. There is, a, as you notice on the screen, there is a monitor. Let's go and look at the monitor. And we're going to look at the receive parameters. It's showing better than 16 dB. That's all it ever shows. 
that means it's at an acceptable level. That's all you ever see. The next item over, the BER, is bit error rate. And what it's doing, it's sampling the output against the input and it's looking for errors. And at the moment it's showing none. 0.0, .0 times 10 to the minus 9 is nothing. So, so it's perfectly good. There's no problems with the internal IF loopback test. So the next one I'm going to go to is the RF loopback. Now the RF loopback would typically be used when you are transmitting to a satellite and setting it up so that the parameters on transmit and receive are the same. In other words, it's doing a loop right up to the satellite and back down again. Well, I can't do that. I don't have any bandwidth on a, on a satellite. So what I am going to do instead, I'm going to cable the transmit to the receive and so I'm simulating a satellite not very well but at least it will demonstrate how this feature works but before that I want to test something I want to make sure there is no voltage coming from the receive port because typically it can be set up with 18 volts to power the LNB and I don't want that so let's just get out of here we're going to go to config ODU, LNB. Oh, by the way, I know that there's no power coming out of the buck. That's one of the th things. This test modem is typically left with the buck power supply disabled. Okay, and the DC voltage is 18 volts. So let's just get rid of that. Before I can do that, I have to get it out of loop back. So I'm going to put it back to normal. Config, ODU, LNB, DC voltage, 18 volts, power off. Okay, so now it's safe for me to cable from the transmit to the receive on this modem. I'll do that and I will be back in a second. This is the back of the CDM570L modem. This is the transmit port, this is the receive port and I've got a 12 foot cable to connect 18 inches. Anyway, it will work. So output is connected to input. Now let's go and set up an RF loop back. Over to test. From normal we're going to go to RF loop back there. Okay, we've set it up. It's in motion. And the only difference you notice is that the TX and the RX traffic lights are both on. Now I'm going to look at the monitor. Receive parameters. Shows exactly the same thing. Better than 16 dB with a zero bit error rate. Something else in here that we can look at and that's stats. Now normally when you would do this with the uh, over the satellite link it's testing to the satellite and from the satellite so so let me first clear whatever stats may be in there. Uh, okay all right, it doesn't let me clear it because it's in loopback I'd forgotten that. Okay let's go to view statistics. Now this is set up every 10 minutes. It's going to it's going to save another set of uh, statistics. At the moment, it's showing what you would expect time of day. Hmm, date needs to be adjusted. No, it doesn't. It's uh, it's in European format. The ninth day of the 12th month, 2018. First item is 16, which is the bit error rate. Again, that's actually better than that, but that's fine. And the next two items would show a loss if there were any, if there was any loss. And so in a normal working environment, I would let this run for a couple of hours and then come back and look at this and see if I can see any drops, any changes on these statistics. But we're not going to do that other than pointing out that it can be done. So what have we done so far? We have done an RF loopback, an IF loopback, 
a clear carrier and prior to that it was running in normal mode with a 2 meg modulated carrier. When we test modems we go through these phases because we want to make sure that when it shipped from here we're not going to get any surprises or at least the customer is not going to get any surprises when that happens. They normally come back and we have to replace them and they can get expensive. So we try and get it clean and tested before we ship. I don't think there's a great deal more that I can show. We've pretty well covered it. And so I'm just going to get it out of loop back so the next time we come through it will be in a normal mode with this modem. And whoever uses it next is not going to stumble around and wonder why it's not working properly. Okay, that's it for today. I'll catch you on the next video.